They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. For Steve Van Vlanderen and Darlene Hildebrand, this certainly holds true. Just ask them how they met. Singles dance at a dance for her. <laughs> I actually walked up to her table with a Blackberry and asked her for her email so that I could text her and ask her out for a dance. And at the dance? At the dance. Since then, the two have tangoed. We became a partners. Through life's twists and turns. In 2010, years into their relationship, something unexpected happened. Steve's step began to drag and his right hand would pulsate, sometimes uncontrollably. Naturally, he saw a doctor. But they don't know why, that's the problem. The prognosis wasn't good. It, it, was, it was a shock. Parkinson's disease. Within five years, they were told, Steve would basically lose his body's ability to function as he knew it. The feelings that you get when you, when you have Parkinson's, it's a, it's a really dark place. The following years would prove to be challenging. I got to the point where I'm telling my kids I want the house to go to you and... But that's when I say, you, you came to the conclusion yourself that you had to do something. I hit rock bottom. And I had to do something about it. That was the turning point. After years of depression, Steve had ballooned to nearly 260 pounds. That's him with the size 40 waist. I didn't know about nutrition. I didn't know about uh, how to really work out. So he turned to Valentine Payne, a fitness coach who introduced him to the finer points of nutrition. He's not shaking like he used to, and you have more control over the weight. At 65 years young, up against Parkinson's disease, Steve lost 70 pounds in just nine months. Uh, my anxiety, I've been had an anxiety attack for six months. Uh, depression is gone, I can sleep now. Steve Van Flanderen. Steve Van Flanderen. Steve Van Flanderen was Before long, Steve became a sort of poster child for Parkinson's. I haven't cured my Parkinson's, but I have managed it and I have a better lifestyle than I did a year ago. And in case you didn't believe the headlines, his win as a bodybuilder makes a solid case. Nowadays, you'll find Steve doing what now matters most. Hobbies, sailing's his favorite, and helping others. It's not just about eating clean. It's not just about diet. It's not about exercise alone. It's a holistic approach. It's mind, body, and spirit. In the coming year, he plans to sail Canada's Great Lakes, and along the way, share his message with those he meets. I had to take charge or I was going to lose my life. That ultimately, you can write your own stars.